Welcome back to BSPN and our review of the Legion Sports Fest. If you like this content and you want more of it, please subscribe, like, comment, and let us know what you would like to see. Now, also, we are doing a giveaway. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you comment, that enters you automatically into our giveaway when you subscribe to our channel. Watch the full video. When you get to the end here today, you'll see all the details. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy. All right, let's go to Legion. So Legion's was a long show. <laughs> it was three days long. Um, we actually had a pro debut happen at Legion's this year with, uh, with Ruth, Ruth Avila. She took fifth. Yeah, she took fifth in the 55 and over. That was Thursday. <laughs> and then the open ladies went on yesterday. So it was a very, very long show. Um, but congratulations to Ruth. She looked phenomenal. This was her pro debut and to come out with a fifth place. That was awesome. Um, really, really happy with that. So beautiful look to her as well. And again, another one of those girls that when you look at her, there's no way you think she was 55 years old. <laughs> you know what I mean? So kudos, big, big ups to her. She is also one of our pro pro promise winners. Um, she won a pro card this past year at masters nationals, um, with our suit and hair and makeup and all that fun stuff. So um, moving on to the open bikini, um, Ivana won this particular show and for, for me with Ivana, it was just a matter of time. Uh, Ivana looks very consistent. She's always consistently in the top five and it was just a matter of time before she finally got over that hump and won one. So, uh, from the few clips and things like that, I did try to go buy the live stream today and it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me buy it. So I wasn't able to see the live stream. Um, a friend of mine actually sent me, sent me the, the link, but they don't have the replay up. So I wasn't able, able to watch the live stream. If I get this, get the live stream there, maybe I can add in a few more, um, a few more notes and stuff, but I did see a few videos that were posted online specifically of the top three. So when we get into talking about the top three, I'll kind of talk about that. But from watching the top three, when they're doing the, co the comparison uh, confirmation round, I had Ivana winning. So I was very happy to see that she actually did win this show. Because she definitely, she definitely to me was the winner when I was watching uh, between pre-judging and finals. So um, going to fifth place, Adrian, 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 I'm, I'm guessing Adrian, um, on free, on free. There we go. Um, good package for this girl right here. She's a muscular girl. So I'm guessing they probably, uh, told her she needs to be careful of her muscularity. Um, she's, a, she's probably the most muscular girl in the top five, uh, specifically in the legs. I could see her if she wanted to potentially building and try to go up to wellness. I could see that happening very easily for her. Uh, but she did a good job of kind of posing that away. Uh, however, when you look at her in her front pose, you can see just how full um, her quads could be if she wanted them to be, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, she's, she's definitely downplaying them through her posing and probably through however they dialed her in for this show. Uh, but she's definitely got some more muscle in her that if she wanted to grow, she probably could. Uh, front pose, I would just like to make sure that she's standing up tall all the time. Uh, there's a few shots here where she's squished a little and you see the, the wrinkles in the lower back. That's always something that you want to pay attention to and not have is wrinkles in the lower back. So she has some wrinkles in the lower back when she squishes too much in that front pose. When she stands up tall, she's good. No problem. So just got to make sure she actually stands up tall. My dogs are going nuts for some reason. Sorry. <laughs> um... So then looking at um, her back pose, so for her back pose here, again, she's just a little bit square in the glutes, and that tells me that she's posing down her muscle, right? She's posing it away. So I'm going to have to go yell at those dogs if they don't stop. They're, they're breaking my concentration. Anyway, so looking at her back pose, it looks like to me, again, they're, they're, she's trying to pose away and not completely fill out her muscle, right? Um, so she's got some big glutes back there. She's got some big glutes and they're a little bit square, which again tells me that if she wants to build, she could build pretty easily. She could build pretty easily into the, into the wellness division, right? She's actually trying to minimize her muscularity quite a bit in this, in this division here, so... I'm gonna have to go freaking Dolly is just going going nuts. Oh, that's the that's the small little bark. That that's my dachshund. That's my mini. You could hear her over everyone. Anyway. 
my god, it's always the same. One starts and they all join it. Yeah, that's the problem. Dolly always starts it, then Piggle joins in. It's a, it's it's rare that Elvis joins. I'm gonna have to go yell at her. Hang on, give me one second, because she thinks that I'm down here talking. This is live, you guys. This is live. All right, so <laughs> Anyway, she just needs to she needs to decide if she wants to kind of pull her muscularity down a little bit more, um, or she, maybe she wants to build up. But overall, not a bad package by any stretch of the imagination. She got fifth here. That's good. That's a good thing. Um, but I can just see where her body has the potential to get to grow bigger if she wanted to. Um, fourth place is Hope Harper. This was a name that actually a few people had mentioned going into the show. I didn't have her predicted in my top, um, but you know I, I had had heard her name a little bit being talked about coming into the show. This is a scenario where her suit bottoms really made a difference in the look of her physique. Her suit bottoms needed to be hiked up probably two inches higher on her waistline. Um, it cut off a good amo amount of her of her glutes from the front from her front pose. Um, then from the back, it's also a little bit too big on her in the back as well. She needs to be tighter. She needs to be tighter just in general. She needs to be tighter. Um, but the fact that, I mean, specifically from the back, she needs to be tighter, the hamstrings. But the fact that she didn't have that hip strap up high enough, that made her look really top heavy, right? Bikini is all about balance, you guys. I tell you guys this all the time. I know you guys as, as competitors often look at one thing, like one aspect of your, of your frame that you think is most important to you. The judges are looking for an overall balance. They're looking for you to look the same from top to bottom, right? And when I look at her, I see her upper body first. And I think a lot of this could, be, could have been fixed from her posing and the way she's got her suit bottom sitting on her. I think a lot of this could have been fixed from that because I don't think she's small in the bottom. I just think she's displaying herself the wrong way. I think that if she displayed herself a little bit better, specifically in the front pose with the with the pose and with the suit bottoms, she could balance herself out really easy. Now, when you get to the back, when she's in her back pose, she's definitely top heavy. Like she's got a wide back, um, but she doesn't have. She's got she's wide up top. She's not quite wide. Uh, She's, she's wide through the midsection too. She doesn't have a small, she doesn't have a small midsection from the back. So that really accentuates the fact that her glutes are too small. She needs to grow some glutes and be tighter back there. So if I was her, I would go and work on filling the glutes out. The legs are okay. The legs are okay where they are, but I'd fill the glutes out with another layer, another layer of muscle so that she could get a little bit tighter and keep the volume. That's what I would do if I was her and that would better balance her frame from the back. Um, from the front, it's just posing and suit tweaks. From the back, she needs some more size. She needs some more size. Um, let's see. Going to Alessia in third. So from the live, again, the lives that I saw, the, the videos that I saw, I did have Alessia in my third place position. Um, Alessia is difficult because she is, she's a harder competitor and it's, it's a fine balance with her. If they fill her out too much, then her waistline blows out. Uh, if you don't fill her out enough, then she's just too hard all over. And that's the case here. Um, her waistline's tight, but she's just too hard all over. And her back pose specifically, she's just too hard. There's no pop there. Um, upper body, her, um, she, I still don't think this pose is exactly right for her. I think that she needs to twist it a little bit differently. Um, because it just doesn't show her frame how I think it could be shown. Uh, she's just a little bit too straight on, I think. And she needs to relax her upper body a little bit. Let that shoulder fill out. She's got a great taper in her waistline from her back. Um, she just needs to let that shoulder fill out. I think if she just lets that arm drop, that would help. I think that would help. Um, and just twist the waistline a little bit more. And then from the back, she's bending over too much. Um, I think that her glutes would probably fill out if she stood up a little taller. She's just a little bit too bent. If she would just stand up, just stand straight up and just tilt in that lower back, I think that would be the right position for her. You know, it's very, very close. Very, very, very close. Um, but just the fact that she's pushing just a little bit too much, again, that makes her glutes look a little bit too hard, not full enough. Um, Again, not a, 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 we're talking about the top five girls here in all of these shows. So again, these are not bad packages for these girls by any stretch of the imagination. I can just see little things that would take her from being great to even better. You know what I mean? So these are just little things I'd like to see her 
uh, see her switch. And I, I saw the same thing with her poses at Olympia too. And again, she placed at the Olympia, so this is no, this is not, a, not a slight at all. Um, I just think that there's just little teeny tiny things she could be doing that could potentially make her look a little bit better. Um, fill her out a little bit more, be her waistline in a little bit more, that kind of thing. Round that shoulder out a little bit more, all of those kinds of things. Um, Phoebe, so Phoebe was in second. Uh, this was a good package for Phoebe. Now again, I didn't get a chance to really look at stuff from the UK Arnold, so I don't know if this was better than UK Arnold or if her UK Arnold look was better. Um, but I know she went through a lot of um, travel issues, things like that. It took her like a whole day to actually get here to the States, all those kinds of things. And it, to me, it kind of showed a little bit. She looked a little soft through the hamstrings. Now again, not by any stretch of the imagination does she look bad, but she just needs to be a little bit tighter. She just needs to be a little bit crispier through the, through the back, the back uh, hamstrings and her glutes. Her shape looks really good. Specifically, her shape looks really good from the front. Um, and from the back, she just needs to be a little bit tighter through the, those hamstrings and get those glutes to pop up a little bit more. Um, posing is great. I wouldn't change anything about the poses. Um, let me look at the front pose real quick. Front shot. Let's see here. Yeah, see, I'd like a little bit more roundness in her shoulder here. Like, her arm looks a little bit thin. Um... If she could just fill that out, just a little bit more fullness than like the, that that upper uh, lat into the shoulder, that would balance her frame out really nicely. She's got great, like her lower half looks great. Um, waistline is nice and tiny. I just like to see a little bit more fullness in general, like from, from like this whole area. I'd like to see a little bit more fullness, like her chest a little bit, her shoulder a little bit, her back a little bit. If she could fill all that out a little, that would match her top to her bottom. And that's going to be a typical critique um, of a lot of women. Like, we just lean out from top down. So you tend to be, women in general, we tend to be a little bit fuller on the lower half than we do on the top. And that's what I see here. So I wouldn't really want to see her bring her lower half down too much more. She does need to come in a touch tighter in the hamstrings. But that's it. Like, maybe a pound. You know what I mean? We're talking about a pound, two pounds, maybe. Um, but the fullness itself is just a little bit more muscle. I'd like to see just a little bit more thickness all in here, this whole area, this whole area. If she could do that, then she'd be really well balanced. Um, but again, love the curly hair. Glad she went to that look. This, this is the best suit that I've seen on her um, so far. Uh, so oh, as far as presentation details are concerned, she's right on with presentation. Just needs to, needs to do a, a couple little tweaks with the physique and she's right there. She's right there. Um, let's see. And then Ivana. So Ivana won it. Ivana is super cute. Like I said, I, it was just a matter of time for this girl. Um, she's very consistent. Her posing and her physique looks pretty much the same at every single one of these shows. So, you know, my, my same critiques apply across the board. I love this blue suit on her. I think this is the right look for her. I know she did a red at one point. I like the blue better. Um, she's got this, I, I want to, I just want to adjust her hip strap on her suit because it pulls down on her skin a little bit. And again, we see those little skin folds there. I just want to pull that down just like a, like a half an inch to, to loosen it up so it doesn't pull on her skin anymore, right? That's the only thing that I really see with that, the, the suit issue. Um, hand on the waistline, I'd like to see it come back just a little bit too. So again, she's covering the, the belly button. I just like to see her not cover her belly button and then we'd be good there in that front pose. Um, she's full everywhere. She could probably be a little bit fuller through her shoulders, but just a little, like I'm seeing a slight striation there. So I would like to see that go away. I'd like to see no striation there and I think would be good. Um, and then from the back, her back pose at this show to me, if I remember correctly, looked like she was just a little bit wider on her back pose than what she typically is. Um, and maybe she did that on purpose. I don't know what her, her feedback was in the past, but I could see them potentially telling her that maybe she was a little bit, her, maybe her glutes were just a little bit too big and out of balance. I could see potentially maybe that was her feedback in the past. Um, and by just opening those legs up just another half an inch, that can help bring the size down a little. Uh, to me, this looks really well balanced in the back, better than what I've seen in the past. She looks fuller through the, through the uh, glutes and everything. She's up nice and tall in that back pose. This is what I love about this particular back pose is she's standing up straight. You know, she's not bent at all. This is great. This is a great back pose for her. 
Um, yeah, and I like the, I like, on her, I like the feet a little bit wider. I think it helps. I think it helps to balance her. It makes her look really complete from top to bottom. So I think that was a good call. Um, I'm guess, guessing she probably got some feedback about that somewhere along the line. Um, not really sure, but just from based on what I've seen from her in the past. Um, but yeah, when I was watching the, the, the videos and everything that I saw come up on Instagram and stuff like that, to me, it was pretty clear. I thought she was the winner. I, I thought she had the best balance of the top three, which was her and Phoebe and, and Alessia. Um, and I had Phoebe in second as well. And I had Alessia in third as well. So, um, I think this played out exactly how it should have from what I saw, you know, from what I saw, it did play out. So, um, yeah, so do we go through everybody? And just so you guys know, I got it, like I got everything right. <laughs> all my predictions were right, all of them. <laughs> so, um, with that, any questions, you guys? This was a good. This was a long weekend of shows. I was on. I was freaking online all day, every day, basically <laughs> between clients and watching shows and trying to find pictures and all that kind of stuff. I was online a lot <laughs> this weekend <laughs> for questions to potentially come in. As always, if you want to work with me, SusanPosing.com is where you have to go. Um, Cuties Conquer the Stage live stream tickets are available. Those are still uh, still available for you. Uh, link is in my bio for that. Um, YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are doing a giveaway. So once I hit a thousand subscribers, once I hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to start live streaming on YouTube. Okay. But once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to pick people out of my subscriber list that have been commenting on videos and watching them. And I'm going to give away free posing, free posing sessions, like one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. So, and with that, I hope you guys have had a, had a great weekend. Um, all right, so there you have it. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment, and you may be one of our lucky winners for some free posing. Thank you again so much for your support, and come back soon for yet another upload here on BSPN. Thanks so much.